It's new kit day. Yeah, it's new kit day. How pink I look. Hey, <laughs> pinky pinky. I love new kit day. It's right up there with new shoes day. Uh, it's right up there with new bike day. It's right up there with Christmas. There's a few things I look for when I buy a new kit. Obviously it needs to look dope. But more importantly, it needs to compress in all the right areas. So, inaugural ride today in this kit. I will filter back to you how the compression points feel. And what exactly is this new kit? So many questions. Okay, about an hour into the ride. Is it uh, kind of a Hollywood lens on here? It's looking a little foggy. 100% humidity in Ottawa today. It's about 20, 25 degrees, something like that. But the humidity, mama jamma. Okay, verdict so far. The manufacturer of this kit is a company called Atticus. They are based in the United Kingdom. Uh, I don't think you can actually source this locally. So uh, you order online and uh, you have to pay duties when it lands on this side because I think companies like Rafa will incorporate the duties into the overall price. Atticus do not do that. Um, so sometimes you can get away with not paying the duties. I of course would never do that. It's not my first rodeo with Atticus. I have a few pieces and uh, I am a big fan. Yeah. So how does it feel so far? Ooh, pretty good. But more importantly, how does it look? Let's get a uh, totally unbiased, objective view on that. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm on a little hot and sweaty. An objective view of the kit. Oh, the kit is beautiful. Nice. Yeah, the kit's a really cool colorway. I like the fading on it. Maddie looks amazing in it, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's a super cool kit. I like the blue, the blue shorts. I like blue a lot, even though I'm always in black. I like blue. So it's been a while since I've bought some blue bib shorts. <coughs> Standing in the middle of the road when the peloton is coming down is not the best idea. Not smart. <laughs> so I normally go black, as most of you probably do, but there is a bit of a trend for other color bib shorts. Mm. Um, I've seen olive drab, olive green, oh, yeah. uh, tan, khaki, and blue. It's nice. It's nice. I but, might not indulge, but you know, might stay black on black, ninja. Or red. Red's not the best color for bib shorts. Okay. Or red. Okay. Yeah. Tends to show a lot. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't look like I'm a healthy person when I wear red. Yeah. It doesn't really uh, yeah. uh, look a little washed out. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it. So what exactly is this kit? Oh, and before I get into that, a quick question for you. Are you the type of person when you buy a new piece of kit, do you wash it first or do you wear it first and then wash it? What are you? Um, what am I? I really don't care to be quite honest, but uh, I think I wear it and then wash it rather than wash it and then wear it. Pink Dissolve Foundation Jersey from our friends at Atticus done one ride in this so far and uh, yeah it's pointing in all the right directions it is tight fitting it says that on the website it is a close fit design nice and tight on the sleeves nice and tight in the core um, it does ride up a little bit higher around the belly button area but uh, it's not so noticeable as to be distracting on the ride and once you're down in the drops or uh, on the hoods you really don't notice it. Everything's nice and tight. There's no um, material flapping around at the back of the neck or in and around the belly. It's, uh, it's a very well designed piece of kit and comfortable. What I really like about kits, the good ones, is you don't notice that you have them on, riding naked, as it were. These are the blue foundation bibs. Foundation bibs go very nicely with the foundation jersey. I thought the blue and pink was a nice design. Could have gone black, but uh, yeah, let's go with blue this time around. Laser cut soft silicone grippers. That's another thing I look for with a good pair of bib shorts is how snug 
are the grippers on the thighs. I've bought some bib shorts in the past and they've been just a little loose. And there's nothing worse than your bib shorts riding up to create nut huggers. Nobody wants to see that and nobody needs to live through that. Uh, so these look pretty good so far. It looks like Atticus. This is the third pair of bib shorts I've bought from Atticus and it looks like they've standardized on their chamois. This is an endurance focused pad and so far it's, uh, it's super comfortable, super spongy. Not so much that it's like a diaper, but just enough. And if you know, you know. And it has a perforated high density foam on the inside, which again, I guess just adds to the wicking aspect of it uh, and the comfort. So yeah, there you have it. Atticus Foundation Bib Shorts. The other good thing about uh, this material is it's 100% pre-dyed fabric. If you buy some kits, you will find that if you stretch the fabric too much, it discolors. Usually if they're black, you pull it too far and it will change to a gray or to a white. If they're pre-dyed, 100% pre-dyed, you can stretch the fabric and it remains true to the original intended color. In this case, blue. Yeah, so there you go. Atticus Foundation Jersey, Atticus Foundation Bib Shorts, imported from the United Kingdom, and so far, two thumbs up. So that's a wrap. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care of one another.